three. Hello everybody, what's up? What's going on? My name is Shauna. For those of you who don't know me or haven't seen me at Hillel before, and for those of you who do know me, what's up? What's going on? Before I got into my senior speech, I kind of just wanted to share an idea that I think is really prominent, prominent to all of us at home right now. Right now, yes, we're all in quarantine and we should, we should be wearing our masks and taking precautions. Yes, it's very important. Um, but something that's happening inside of our homes right now, wherever home is for you, it might be in good old California, it might be in the States, it might be in a different country, it might be in Israel if you're lucky. And um, just this idea that we're all quarantining with our parents when we're around people that we're not used to be around, not used to being around for a long periods of time and clearly we can all get on each other's nerves and of course there's times of laughter and there's times of aggression and anger and everyone getting mad at each other but something that really became evident to me in my last two years at UCLA was really getting to know the story of my parents and the story of our generations and my family history that became very evident to me back in February I shared the story of how my parents escaped from Iran and I also had the pleasure of being a part of bearing witness for the last two years and really just engaging with people and getting to know their stories so I really just urge everyone during this time I know um, it's kind of silly to say, but our parents were people before they had us, right? And they had goals and dreams and aspirations. And sometimes right now it's all about us and all what we want. And if we're hungry and if we're tired or whatever it is, but I kind of just urge you, everyone, to go out there, interview your parents, get to know your family history. There's still things that I'm learning about my parents every single day. And yeah, just get to know them. I know it's so weird to say like, duh, we live with our parents. Of course we know them, but really get to know them, not beneath the surface level. Um, and now getting into my senior speech, I, I can't believe that just four simple letters could hold such a large meaning in my life. U-C-L-A, wow. So I am a transfer commuter student, so already that in itself, my time is cut very short. And I did come from community college, and the kind of student I was in community college was very minimal, simple, I was a good student, met all my school academic deadlines, but never really anything extracurricularly. And when I got to UCLA in my first quarter, that kind of mentality and that attitude kind of just followed me to UCLA. And I had this realization and I was like, no, I don't want to, I don't want things to be mundane and things to be comfortable again, because I, I've been doing that and my time hasn't, my time was great in community college, but it wasn't stellar or extraordinary or whatever it was. Um, so I kind of held on to this motto that I want to start doing things that make me nervous again. I don't know how, but I need to start doing it. So when I was, my, during my first quarter, when I would go to class and after class would end, I would go home. I would pop in my earphones in between classes, kind of dig my head into my phone. and. Um, I didn't even know, you can kind of get an idea of where my brain was back then, but I didn't even know what North Campus was, that there was a dichotomy between North and South Campus, or like what even Powell was, <laughs> I know it's so weird to say, but um, I, I really just didn't know what anything was, right? And I was like, I'm gonna stop being behind the scenes and digging my head into my phone, and when I'm walking on campus, I'm just gonna pick my head up, take out my earphones, and just enjoy our campus. I always tell people that our campus is literally, to me, it feels like a national forest. It's the most beautiful, stunning place ever. I mean, you always see people walking with their dogs or people just going on cute little picnics, whatever it may be. So I took out my headphones when I would walk in between classes and surely you would see familiar faces and people would talk and I would carry little conversations and it would lead to the conversation of what are you doing right now let's go to Hillel I was like what the heck is Hillel I mean I didn't even know what North Campus was so let alone Hillel whatever Hillel became a place where I would drop off my academic pressures I would come there relax hang out and it became really important to me and evident during my senior year I became very involved and back in community college and high school you would always hear people say get involved utilize your time and I was like that is so phony that is cheesy like only the extraordinary people get involved and I just never thought it was something that I was capable of doing and once I got involved my time became 
I utilized my time, I took initiative, I was that nerd that would willingly take 8 a.m. classes, I would be on campus from literally 7.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. I It was almost as if I was living on campus. I would just go home, say what's up to my parents, go to sleep, take a shower, whatever it was, and resume the next day. So Hillel really just became this awesome place for me, and I, my greatest friends, I've met so many great people there, and during my senior year, I got involved in Tush, um, the transfer club group. Um, I'm blanking out, I don't even know what Tush stands for right now, it's so embarrassing, sorry Nicole. <laughs> and I really just had the luxury every day of being around Hillel staff and educators, and there were so many events going on throughout the day, and I was so lucky to be able to choose so many different events. And um, my favorite places on campus, my friends would always joke that after class you would find me on a sunny piece of grass just kicking back and writing in my journal or whatever it is, checking my WhatsApp messages, which is probably like my full-time job at this point. Um, and I love going to Jan's, kicking back, eating lunch with a friend. If you want something a little more key, you go to Murphy Sculpture Garden, something a little more low-key, go to the Botanical Gardens. I know it's a bit of a walk. Um, and I, I wrote something in my journal, I was reading my journal back in October of 2019 and I really feel like it's something that really just captured my time there. So, I said, I always tell people that after many of my school days spent here at UCLA, I'm always saying that today was the best day of my life. Constantly throughout the day and after I'm on this positive high that is truly one of the best feelings. With this excitement, I'm able to appreciate what God has given me, and I truly feel like everything's going right. One might ask why I feel this way while being, at, while being at UCLA, and here let me explain. Maybe it's the buzz I get from my coffee that initiates a great morning, but during my first class, everything just clicks. My lectures are thought-provoking and stimulating. They make me appreciate my cognitive abilities and my bodily functions. I'm presented with a beautiful campus and little hidden patches of sunny areas that I can bask in. I see friends and acquaintances who each add a little spark in my day and a little conversations with people could lead to so many great revelations. Great campus plus outstanding, great conversations plus outstanding campus equal a happy Shauna with a big smiley face next to it. So I just want to urge everyone to take initiative, start doing things that make you nervous again. I trust me like it was I if I saw myself two or three years ago I would laugh I wouldn't recognize myself but again just take initiative do things that make you nervous again get to know your parents reach out to people whatever it is um, and cheers to the class of 2020 and cheers to life Shabbat Shalom everyone <laughs>